as his pal Jingles. Brought to you by Kellogg's Raisin Bran. The cereal with the fruit already in the package. Oh boy, raisins and toasted bran flakes. Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Today, Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal that comes out of the box with the fruit already in the package, brings you Wild Bill Hickok. Transcribed in Hollywood and starring Guy Madison as Wild Bill and Andy Devine as his pal Jingles. In just 30 seconds, you'll hear the exciting story, Born Mean. Hear that? That's a United Airlines DC-7 mainliner ready for takeoff. Now hear this. You can get a three-inch plastic model of this DC-7 mainliner free right inside packages of Kellogg's Raisin Bran. Golly, think how much fun it'll be to have a silvery model of America's fastest commercial transport plane. And you can make a swell hanger for your DC-7 right out of the box. So get your DC-7 mainliner model now free right inside special packages of Kellogg's Raisin Bran. States Marshal Wild Bill Hickok and his bull-strong deputy Jingles faced and fought every brand of outlaw in cleaning up the West. Some were beefy bullies who preyed on the weak, some were kids gone wrong, and some were human jackals running in packs and spreading terror across the plains. Then there was another breed, like Wheezy Keeler, rat-faced and slippery. Wheezy was just born mean. Hey now, boys, would you look who's come to town? A dirt farmer. I reckon that was meant for me, Hashbrito. Look around you, Tom McDonald. Do you see any other dirt farmers in the place? If the shoe fits, draw it off. If you're spoiling for a fight, keep up your talk and I'll be drawing more in a shoe. <laughs> hey, you hear that, Wheezy? Dirt farmer wants a fight. If you're fixing to fight, both of you get out in the street. Don't want no more bullocks in my walls. Oh, the boys all bluff, Wheezy. Better take your little brother and get back your plow, McDonald. Yeah, come on, Tom. Pa said you'd get in trouble when you're strapped on them gums that come to town. Shut up, Bip, and get on home yourself. I'm not backing down from Hash Brito or nobody else. But you know he's one of Wheezy Keeler's top guns, Tom. Come on home. I ain't going. Now get out of here before you get hurt. You better listen to the boy. Your plowing's waiting. You're calling the turn, Hash. If you've a mind to back it up, scratch leather. You hear that, boys? He wants to match guns with me. I said it once. If you're going to fight, get out in the street. That's all right with me. Me too. Let's go. Tom, I ain't going to let you do it. I'm going for Wild Bill Hicker. Now, hold on, young man. No need for that. You let me go, Wheezy Keeler. All right, McDonald. Square off and meet your funeral. Somebody count three. Hey, there's Jingles. Let me go. Jingles, help. I'll do your counting, boys. Ready? No, you ain't. Jingles, hurry. Shut up, you little maverick. One... Two. Hey, now, what's going on here? Three. Stop! Well, I'll be a mud turtle. That dirt farmer outgunned Hashbrito. Answer me, you little weasel. What's this all about? Tom, you all right? Jingles, where's Wild Bill? Across the street, coming lickety-cut. Guess he heard the shots. You could have killed Brito, Tom. Yeah, but I didn't. Jingles, what were those shots? All street fight, Bill. I got here too late to stop it. Looked fair and square. Hash started it and got the worst of it, Hickok. Don't see it concerns you. Watch out. Anything that disturbs the peace of this town concerns Bill. Never mind, Jingles. Tom, I'd suggest you get back to your farm and help your dad. That's what I told him, Wild Bill. Pa needs them. Reckon I can do without your suggestions, Marshal. I'm through farming. Now, that could be a big mistake, Tom. Oh, sounds like the boy don't need your preaching, gents. You keep out of this, Wheezy. Someday we're going to catch up to you. <laughs> I doubt if you're smart enough, Deputy. Tom, since you seem to be finished with farming, I'd like to talk to you. Don't listen to him, Tom. Wheezy's not your kind. I'll decide that. All right, Mr. Keeler, if you've got a proposition to make, I'll come and listen. No, Tom. For the last time, come on home. Get along, bit. I ain't coming. So long, Haycock. All right, Tom. Choose your own way. But remember this. Keeler wants you for a gun hand. A man who lives by the gun sooner or later dies by the gun. <laughs> Food with the fruit right.
right in the package. Say, cowpokes, think back a minute. Did you have fruit on your breakfast cereal this morning? Well, if you didn't, I'll bet it wasn't because you didn't want to. Most everyone likes fruit on his cereal in the morning. But sometimes a cowpoke like yourself doesn't have time to scout up fruit for your cereal, and you have to go without. Unless, of course, you sit down to a big bowl full of Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the delicious cereal with the fruit right in the package. Tumbled all through those crisp golden bran flakes, you'll find lots of those honeycomb-coated raisins. What a flavor combination. Lots of folks say that Kellogg's Raisin Bran is practically a breakfast in itself. So why not ask your mom for a box or two of Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal with the magic secrets right on the package backs next time she goes shopping. Tell her you want Kellogg's Raisin Bran, the cereal with the fruit right in the package. It was a fast fight, and by the code of the West, a fair one that suddenly set young Tom McDonald up as a gunfighter to reckon with. In spite of a warning from Jingles and Wild Bill, Tom chose to listen to a proposition from Wheezy Keeler. Back at the marshal's office, Jingles was making guesses at what Keeler's offer might be. Bill, you know doggone well what Wheezy's got in mind for that young hothead. I got a fair idea, Jingles. In about ten minutes, you'll have Tom thinking he's the best gun that ever crossed the river. Then we'll have another hard-cased owl hoot on our hands. You've got it sized up about right, Jingles, but right now there's nothing we can do to stop it. Why, first thing you know, he might send Tom out to match guns with you. I hope not, partner. Well, we might. Yeah. Wizzy knows by now that we came to town to get the man behind these stagecoach and train robbers. And he also knows we think he's the man. That could be the reason the robbers stopped when we came to town. Uh Uh-huh, but you know right well if we left town, they'd start up again. Hey, Jingles, you got a good idea there. I have? Where? Pack up your war bag and go get the horses. We're leaving town. Now, that's the best news I've had in a week. You mean we're getting out right now? Just as soon as we drop by and say goodbye to Wheezy Keeler and his boys. Well, now, that don't make sense. Since when did we get to be such good friends as there? Never mind, partner. If we hurry, we might just be in time to break up Wheezy's little talk with Tom McDonald. All right, let's go. Talk to me now, Mr. Keeler. Yeah, yeah, Tom. Come in, sit down. Hmm. Hello, Hash. How's the arm? None of your business. Sorry I had to cut you down. You're drawing too low. Don't tell me how to handle my guns. You were just lucky. But next time... Shut up, Hash. Now take a walk while I talk to Tom. You better watch out for that dirt bomber, Wheezy. Kind of a sore head, ain't he? <laughs> Leatherhead's more like it. Don't pay any attention to him. Let's talk about you. Go ahead. I'm listening. Uh, you're, uh, you're smart, Tom. I could use you in my business. What business? Uh, we'll get around to that. How'd you like to ride for me? I hear tell riding for you is likely to get unhealthy now and again. Now, uh, who in blazes? Who's that? Just a couple of old friends come to say goodbye. Open up. Well, it sounds like Jingles. Jingles come to say goodbye. <laughs> well, come in, gents. Come in. Well... That's what we was figuring to do. Uh Uh-oh. Did we break up something? Oh, no, no. Me and Tom was just having a little talk. I, uh, hear you gents was leaving town, Hickok. Yeah, that's right, Wheezy. We came here to catch the outlaws that were holding up the stage in the train, but I guess we missed them. Uh, Things been mighty quiet since you two hit town, all right. Mm, Too quiet. Bill figured them alhoots moved on, so it's time we did, too. Makes sense. Uh, where are you figuring to go, Hickok? Back to our Santa Fe headquarters. We'll just have to wait for the robbers to strike again before we can pick up the trail. Well, so long, and good riding to you. Oh, thanks. By the way, Tom, we'll be passing by your place on the way. How about riding with us? You're wasting your time, Marshal. I'm staying here. You're making a big mistake, boy. Quit messing with my life. I know what I'm doing. You sure about that? Yeah, Hickok, I'm sure about that, and I'm fed up with listening to your mealy mouth palaver. Come on, Bill. He ain't worth wasting your breath on. Yes, you're right, Jingles. Let's go. 
blasted meddlers. Ah, forget them, boys. They're leaving town. They can't tell me what to do. Then I take it uh, you're staying to ride with me and the boys? You take it right. Go on. Hey, Wheezy, I just saw Hickok outside. Him and Jingles lit out of town, war bags and all. That's right, Hayes. They're gone, and we're back in business. Now round up the men. We got plans to make. <laughs> Jingles, so far, so good. Now, what do you mean by that? Wheezy took the bait, hook, line, and sinker. Maybe now he'll play out his hand. Bill Hickok, you mean to tell me we ain't really going back to Santa Fe after all? Not just yet, partner. Our job's not done here until we catch those bandits. And just how you figuring to do that? We can't keep an eye on Wheezy Keeler and his gang if we're ten miles out of town, can we? Nope. Then how you gonna watch him? I uh, thought I'd sign up a new deputy to do that for us. A new deputy? Now, hold on, Bill. You don't need no other deputy than me. You're too big for this job, Jingles. Then who are you going to get? Bit McDonald, Tom's little brother. Oh, what can he do? You'll see, partner, if my trick works. Well, I'll be. Here comes Bit now, fogging it for town. Good. That'll save us some time. Oh, back shot. Pull up, Jingles. We'll wait for him. Good. Oh, Jigger, oh. Boy, that kid can sure ride a horse. Yeah. Hey, Bit! Pull up! We want to talk to you! Whoa, Bucky! Ho, ho, now! Wild Bill, Jingles, who are you riding to? I was going to ask you the same thing, Bit. I'm going back to town to talk some sense into Tom. Pa's plum broke up about him. I don't think talking's going to do any good, Bit. Maybe I've got another way. What are you getting at, Wild Bill? Well, Bill's got a plan, son, but he needs your help. Oh, sure, Wild Bill. I'll do anything you say. Good. You know why we came to town last week? Yeah, to catch the stagecoach bandits. Everybody knows that. Well, we've left town to give them a free hand. Well, you hadn't ought to have done that. There's two stages doing this afternoon late. One from the north and one from the east. <laughs> Smart boy. Yeah, we know that bit. Hey, I get it. With you gone, they might try a hold up. It's possible. Oh, yeah, but who? We need Keeler and his gang. That's who we think, but we got to catch him red-handed. But Tom's riding with him. I ain't gonna do nothing to send him to jail. He ain't no robber. Uh -oh. If he rides with Wheezy for long, he will be. I hadn't thought of that. All right, Wild Bill. What do you want me to do? Atta, boy. Jingles, hand me your little shaving mirror. Shaving mirror? What for? No time for questions. You'll see. Mm, all right, here. And here's mine. You take these, Bit. What am I gonna do with two mirrors, Wild Bill? You ever hear the story of Paul Revere? Sure. Good. I know that, Bill. Listen, my children, and you shall hear of the midnight ride of Paul Revere on the 18th of April. Yeah, in... Jingles, that's right. Now, hold it. Oh, shucks. I was just getting started. Now, Bit, you remember the signal lanterns? Oh. Sure. He said to his friend, if the British march by land or sea from the town tonight, hang a lantern aloft in the belfry arch of the North Church Tower as a signal light. One if by land, and two if by sea. That's right, and that's enough. Oh, but, Bill, I know it all. I think Bit gets the idea. Sure oh. I do. Two mirrors, two lanterns. Right. Now, Jingles and I'll be up on that hog back between the north and east roads. And I go to town and watch Wheezy Keeler. That's right. But keep out of sight. If they ride out of town, you mark which way they go. Then climb up on top of the windmill by the livery stable. That's like the tower of the old north church, huh, Bill? Yeah. Hmm. And that's where your mirrors come in. Ah, oh, one if by land and two if by sea. Oh, but, Bill, there ain't no sea around here. There's two roads, Jingle. Oh, yeah, I forgot it. I bet if they take the east road, you use one mirror. Flash it in the sun toward that hogback so we can see it. And if they take the north road, I flash both mirrors at you. That's right. Now, you better head for town. Don't worry about Tom. We'll look after him. Here I go. Up there, Bucky. Stretch out. So long, Wild Bill. Good luck, Ben. All right, Jingles. Let's get up on that hog back between the two roads. Get up there, Buckshot. Get along, Joker. I sure hope he remembers. One mirror flashing for the east and two for the north. Yeah. And we'll be sitting on top of the hill. Trust the old jingles and smart wild bill. Waiting to get their signal and ride to catch the bandits and tan their hide. <laughs> I just made that one up. Say, how would you like to make an authentic collector's model of Wild Bill Hickok's famous Colt Peacemaker? Well, you can. Now, thanks to Kellogg, you can get that gun plus three other famous old-time guns. You put them together in less than an hour. 
you can get Wild Bill's famous Colt Peacemaker, the English Pepper Box Pistol, a gun with six separate barrels, and the gun small enough to conceal, the Derringer. Yes, and a flintlock, too, the French Militia Pistol. There they are, four of the finest handguns ever turned out. The famous old-time guns you make are authentic right down to the finest engraving on the barrel. The Colt 45 is actually 11 inches long. Now, to get these, just send 50 cents for each kit and a box top from Kellogg's Sugar Smacks or Kellogg's Sugar Corn Pops. Now, you'll want to get all four gun kits, so act now. Send the handy order blank from the package back or send 50 cents and any Kellogg's Sugar Smacks or Sugar Corn Pops box top to Old Time Guns, Box 121, Los Angeles 53, California. With his plan all set, Wild Bill found his place high on the hill between the east and north roads. There he settled down with Jingles to watch for Bits' flashing signals from town. At that same moment, far below and out of sight, young Bit McDonald pulled his horse up behind the livery stable. Oh, Bucky, whoa, oh, I gotta hide you here. Now Bill said to stay out of sight. You stand quiet, Bucky. I gotta sneak over and find out whether Wheezy and his gang are still in town. There's the windmill. I can climb up there easy as a red squirrel. There's Wheezy's place right handy next door. Yeah, horses out front. And there's a window open. Maybe I can get close enough to hear something. Looks like everything's all set, Wheezy. The boys are waiting to ride. Looks like I got here just in time. Yeah, how's the new hand? Don McDonald? Yeah. I got an uneasy feeling about him, Wheezy. I figure he'll spook when he finds out we're going to hold up that stage coach. Yeah, he won't find out till it's too late. All right, saddle up. Which road we taking, boss? North Road. That stage carries more gold as a rule. The North Road? I gotta get up on the windmill and flash two mirrors at Wild Bill and Jingles quick. Oh! Oh! Now I've done it. Hey, what was that? At the window. Take a look. I gotta get out of here. Hey, Wheezy, it's the kid. Come back here, you little maverick. You ain't getting me. That's what you think. I gotta find out what you're up to. Here, here, now I got you. Let me go, you big ape. What are you doing at that window? None of your business. Hey, hang on to him, Hash. What was he up to? You won't say. Hey, what are you doing with Bill? Stop, make him let me go. Yeah, Hash, let him go before I push your face you in. Just try it, dirt farmer. All right, I will. This time's going to be different. Yeah, boy, Tom, get him. Weezy, let him have it. Yeah, before we waste time. Tom, look out behind you. No. <laughs> Down varmints. Nice work, Wheezy. Put him to sleep in a hurry. All right. We'll tie him and the kid up and be on our way. You ain't tying me up. Oh, yes, we are. Yeah, yeah. Hurry it up, Hash. We'll throw him in the back room and take care of him later. It's time we hit the road. Getting tired of waiting. Can't be much longer, Jingles. Both stagecoaches are due within a couple of hours. Oh, well, something tells me we shouldn't have left town. Well, we had to make them show their hand. We can't be two places at once. Well, I sure hope that youngster didn't make no slips. If he stayed out of sight like I told him to, he's going to be all right. Yeah. What if he didn't? Then we'll have a double job on our hands. We'll just have to wait and see for right now. What hit me? Wheezy pistol whip you while you was fighting with Hash. That two-faced salamander. Where'd they go? Out the north road to rob the stage. We gotta get out of here. How you figure to do that tied up like we are? I got two little mirrors in my shirt pocket. If you can squirm around and get hold of one of them, I'll back up to you and saw my ropes loose. Bit boy, you're smarter than a hungry fox. We're as good as out of here. That ain't the half of it. When we get out, I've got the surprise of his life lined up for that low-down Wheezy Keeler. Bill, I'm about to give up. Something's gone wrong just as sure as you're born. Hold it, Jingles. Yep, there it is. You see a mirror flashing? Yeah. Now look, past that scrub oak there. It is. Yeah, yeah, I see it. There's the other one. Now, now, let me see. Now, which road did that mean? I forgot. The Bill. north road. Hit the saddle, partner. Come here, Buckshot. <laughs> Bitch sure did what you said, all right. He's a good boy to have around, partner. I might just put him on steady. 
All right, let's ride. Hi, Buckshaw. Hi. Get him, Joker. You heard what Bill said. Ha, ha, ha. Back to work, Wheezy. You sure fooled Wild Bill Hickok by laying low while he was in town. Yeah, he ain't so smart. Hey, Dirk, you and Shorty take the right side. All right. Come on, Hash. Right with you, boss. All right, open up. Let's make this fast. Hold in those horses, driver, and throw over the gold box. That's it. I'll toss over the box before I'll plug you. Where'd those shots come from? Boss, the ride is walking down the hill. It's Hickok and Gino. It's a trap. Let them have it. Don't make much sense to match guns with Hickok. Shut up. Shoot, you fool. They got Dirk and Shorty. Get the big one. I'll aim for Hickok. I ain't shooting so good with my left hand. Oh, he got my gun. All right, Wizzy, drop that gun. I'll drop it right between your eyes, Hickok. <laughs> well, gun gets real hot when it's shot out of your hand, don't it, Wheezy? Hey, Bill. Tom ain't with them. Wild Bill! Hey, Wild Bill! Here comes Bet Jingles. Tom's with him. Well, that's the best sight I've seen this year. You caught him red-handed, didn't you, Wild Bill? Yeah, Bet. Your signal was just in time. Hey, did you have any trouble? No, nothing to speak of. And look, Wild Bill, Tom's come to his senses. He's going back home with me. Is that right, Tom? Sure is, Jingles. Farmer don't look so bad after all. I reckon I learned my lesson. Good boy. All right, Jingles. Let's herd these varmints to jail. Hold on, Hickok. I got a question to ask. Yeah, Wheezy, what's up? How'd you come to be Johnny at the rat hole right where we was going to pull this hold up? Tell him, Jingles. Oh, Wild Bill's got a million tricks, Wheezy. When we ain't got no other way to catch a varmint like you, we just do it with mirrors. And now, here are the stars of Wild Bill Hickok, Guy Madison and Andy Devine. Andy, what's our Wild Bill Hickok story for Wednesday? Oh, I don't like to brag about Jingle's singing voice, but you just listen Wednesday to Six Gun Serenade. So long, kids. See you Wednesday. Say, what day is today? Today is Tuesday. Why, yes, every day is choose day. If you have Kellogg's Variety Pack on the breakfast table, you get to choose your favorite cereal any day. When you have Kellogg's Variety Pack, you can choose Kellogg's Corn Flakes, Rice Krispies, Sugar Frosted Flakes, and other favorites with Kellogg's Convenient Variety Pack. In fact, you get ten generous servings, each individually fresh packed to you. What day is it? Well, just remember, it's always choose day with Kellogg's Variety Pack. <laughs> Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals, has brought you another exciting story of Wild Bill Hickok, starring Guy Madison and Andy Devine in person. Today's cast included Vic Perrin, Jeff Silver, Barney Phillips, and Junius Matthews. Our director was Paul Pierce, story by Larry Hayes, music by Dick Orant. This is a David Heyer production transcribed in Hollywood. Now, this is Charlie Lyon, Speaking for Kellogg's, the greatest name in cereals. Reminding you to listen again on Wednesday, same time, same station, for another adventure of Wild Bill Hickok!